Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I will be unboxing a new set of acrylic paints that I received from Chocola. They asked me to review this set as well as a gouache set which will be in a different video. But I thought that since fall is coming, I would like to paint some items to make a fall tiered tray and I'm going to be using items that I mostly picked up from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be painting those items and then I'll show you how I put my tiered tray together. Um, I already have a tiered tray that I'm going to use. I thought about making a tiered tray um, for this video but since I already have one I just want to show you the things that I painted and then I'll put it together for you. First I will unbox this really nice set of paints. As I said it's Chocola. I'll have the link for them down below. They sell all kinds of paint products. Uh, chalk markers, acrylic paints, gouache paints, and other items as well. So this one is a 32 color acrylic set and this this is a huge set. This package itself is probably around 12 by 12 and around two inches thick. And we'll open it up here. It comes with everything you need. I didn't even know this. I thought it was just the paint set, but it comes with a paint palette, which is really cool. It also comes with a set of really nice artist brushes all different sizes and shapes and then it comes with a sponge and then it comes with a little palette knife so this is really cool and then it comes with all of the sets of acrylic paints and these are pretty good sized little tubes 22 let's see it's 22 milliliters or like three quarters of an ounce and it has all these different colors just awesome so I'm super excited to try these out and what I will be painting on are mainly wood items I'll show you those here in a second and then we will get into painting with these amazing paints I'm hoping they're amazing because they look I love, I just love the set. So I have, here are some of the things that I'll be using. I'll also be, I think I'm going to find a couple other items, but for now I'll show you what I have. I found these really cute box tags or ornaments. I'm going to paint these little pumpkins. I found one of the wood boxes. I thought I could take them apart. This has a flower, but we don't need to use that side. I can cover that up. But I thought I could paint this and put things on the inside. I also picked up one of the little mini palettes. And then I have some leaves, a set of leaves, wood leaves to paint as well. So one, I, I want to find the little pumpkin ornaments and then also I think one of the little mini crates from the Dollar Tree and possibly the just the rectangular tag. So future Kim will have those items. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's get started working on painting these and putting together my fall tier tray. So the first project that I wanted to start off making is just a little bead garland and it's not very long just enough to kind of drape throughout the tear tray and so I have these wood beads I picked these up at Hobby Lobby and they were half off and it's just a has a variety pack of a bunch of different sizes so I'm taking one of my floral wires and stringing them on there I didn't really count these, um, but you can see about how many I'm putting on there, and I didn't even count out like what sizes and everything. It's just random. So I'm just using this to paint the beads, and I'm doing part of them, a third of them in the orange, and I had to mix 
a, like an Indian yellow with a little bit of red to make it a little bit darker of an orange for this with these paints. They didn't have a specific orange and so yeah I had to make that but that's fine. I'm totally into mixing paints to make whatever color that I want. And I'm also going to be painting with just the titanium white and then a third of them will be a turquoise color and the turquoise I did have to mix again. They didn't have a turquoise. They had several other blue colors but I wanted it a turquoise because that's what I have in my house for a lot of my decor. So here I'm painting the white. This is messy but it's just easier to paint it on the wire like this. You can spin the bead around and it just makes it a little bit easier. And I did only do one coat because I wanted it to be a little bit of a rustic look so it's not like a completely opaque layer on all of them. And then here I am mixing. I used, I think it was a cerulean blue and then a, a darker turquoise to make what I, and then I added in white to make it a little bit lighter. But I will list um, the colors that I used down in the description. These paints dry pretty quickly if you do thin layers, so I did like that fact because by the time I got done there, the white had dried enough I could pull them off the wire, and then I was able to pull the orange off as well. So you can make this garland as long as you want, for with as many beads as you want, whatever size. Now I have this chipboard tag that was in my stash, so I'm going to paint it white. I think I put two coats of white on this just to cover up that chipboard coloring. If you can find a wood chipboard, I a wood tag that would work as well with this or just any shape. I added a I made a little bit more of the orange because I want to paint a pumpkin on this tag. So now I'm just taking one of my smaller brushes doing little swoops to make the shape of a pumpkin and that's all I do for that and then I used an even tinier brush I think it was a two or a one and a, some brown to put a stem on the top of the pumpkin and then I added a little like vine little section there with that and then I took another tiny brush and used my turquoise and just made little dots all the way around the tag just to add a little bit more interest it kind of looks like it's stitching I suppose And now I'm going to start putting together the garland. I'm taking some jute twine. This was from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just randomly, I, well, kind of random because sizes are all different. But I'm layering these at an orange, white, and turquoise, orange, white, turquoise. And then just alternating the sizes. So kind of spaced out the sizes and the colors on my garland. When you put the, the holes are, on these beads are pretty big, so on some of them I had to kind of twist the end a little bit, but they go through pretty well. As I got towards the ends, there were some that I ended up not using because I didn't have enough to alternate. So now I'm just doing some double knots here at the end to tie the tag on there. And then at the other end, I cut a good section off of probably about six inches. And now I'm making a tassel by wrapping around my hand. I did that about 
15 times and then I cut it off and I'm using the tie at the end of that garland to tie up these pieces and then I'm going to wrap around at the top there to make the tassel and tie it off at the back and then I'm evening off the ends there so a quick little tassel I think this turned out really cute and then I'm going to use some orange gingham ribbon that I had in my stash. It's about an eighth of an inch and I'm making a bow at the top there. On to the next piece. I picked up this little mini palette from the Dollar Tree and I'm using my leftover orange paint to paint it all to make, I'm making a pumpkin with this. So super cute. I did use those colors that I mixed up for the first for the garland throughout all of these crafts. And with this, I just did one coat, I believe, because again, I wanted to look kind of rustic. And then this is a little mini Jenga piece from the Dollar Tree. You can pick them up in a pack of like 70. And so I'm using my brown paint for the top, and then these little etched wood pieces, their leaves. They have a bunch of these now at the Dollar Tree as well. So I use two of those and I'm hot gluing the Jenga piece at the top and then I use some of the jute from Dollar Tree and I'm wrapping it around several times and then just tying it in a double knot there at the top. And then I made a bow. And then I'll take my hot glue and glue the two leaves down that I painted with the turquoise. On to the next project. I picked up one of these little boxes. They're like, it's a wood box from the Dollar Tree that has a drawer in it. So I just took the drawer out. I'm mixing up more of my orange paint. And I'm going to be painting these little pumpkins. I'm going to make the box in a little bit here, but this is going to be a little pumpkin box. So these are little mini pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I'm going through, I ended up putting two coats of orange on these. If you, probably if you took a little um, like really fine sandpaper, you can sand the finish off of these pumpkins and they would paint a little bit better, but I didn't do that. <laughs> so I ended up doing a two, I think one of them I did three coats, but I still liked the way they turned out. Now I'm going to paint the box in the titanium white again. And I did it, I think, just one coat on this as well. And I didn't paint the inside of this because you really can't see it, so I just painted the sides, the top rim, and I don't know if I did the bottom, I can't remember. I don't think so. Moving on, letting those things dry, and I'm going to paint turquoise on this little mini easel. It's a chalkboard easel from the Dollar Tree, and so I just wanted to paint this turquoise on all of the wood parts. And you'll see in a minute what I do with this. I think this is really cute. I think this would be really cute for like a wedding or a party, like to put up in front of your food. <laughs> or table numbers on the tables, but for this I think I, I really love how this turned out. You don't, you won't see it here, but I did go in and paint the insides of the brown, the, the wood parts of that. So now with this box dried, I cut out this pumpkin patch 
a little saying on my Cricut and I'll have the links down below for the SVG that I found for this and I'm just struggling with the transfer tape I'm not I don't do a lot of this final the cut out cut out of vinyl on my Cricut I use it mainly for paper cutting so but this it ends up looking really cute if you have any uh, tricks if you want to leave them down below for that transfer tape and as you see I'm not centering this because I want to put a ribbon along the side so I lined it up in the middle top and bottom but over to the right side there and now I'm adding in this polka dot orange ribbon that I had in my stash and I'm just doing a little double knot at the top there and now I'm putting the little stems back in the pumpkins and those will stack up in there what I ended up doing was only putting one pumpkin in there but you'll see at the end what that looked like. Now on this little mini chalkboard, I cut out another vinyl saying that says Hello Pumpkin in my white. And so I'm putting that down. As I said, I'm not, I'm not the go-to person for vinyl. <laughs> You could paint that or use a chalk marker if you wanted, but I just, I wanted it to be quick and to look really neat. So now I'm painting another one of those pumpkins on the chalkboard. This took several layers just because the chalkboard, um, of that finish on the chalkboard. So I did that. I let it dry for a little bit. I think it did go back in with some more orange. And then I took my brown up here at the top to add the stem and the little vine. Mixing up some more orange to paint on the top there. Kind of define the pumpkin a little bit more. And that does, I think that turned out really nice. It is a little lops, like off to the left a little bit, but I couldn't fix that anymore. I didn't want to mess it up anymore. <laughs> now I'm adding a little bit of white at the top there because the, the stem just didn't pop out enough for me. And then I'm going in with a little bit of the brown just to make it a little bit darker. Now I'm trying to figure out where I want to tie this orange chunky yarn that I have. I didn't like it at the top so I ended up doing it at the bottom. and I'm just trying to get it even so I have an even bow. All right, so the last two things I wanted to work on were these two wood cutouts from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of four, I think, and so I have a pack, or maybe six, but I had this pack of leaves and the little fox that was really cute. So I put a layer of the orange down on the leaf and then I went over to my fox and I'm using the titanium white I added some white along the beard part and then the front, his front chest section and then on the tail and the insides of the ears. And then I have, I think it's a burnt sienna. Again I'll have the links or the names of the paints down below that I used. So I'm going in now on the other parts and adding this color. And then I'll, I'll kind of feather it in to make it look more like fur here in a sec. But I wanted to get the initial color down. I changed my brush so I could do the ears. I wasn't worried too much. These have a little hole in them so you could make them ornaments or garlands, but by the time I got them painted you really couldn't tell that the hole was there. 
but you could fill them in with wood filler if you wanted. Now I'm taking some white for to make the eyes and then after that dries I'll add some black. But now I'm putting black on the little feet down below or the paws. And then I'm adding some brown, like some dark brown and orange onto the leaf while the fox dries. Just adding a little bit of detail to the leaf. It's kind of rough, not uh, perfect, but it just gets that impression of the actual leaf and that's what I did on that. And then I'm going in with my black to add the little eye detail there. And I have some turquoise ribbon. I'm going to make a bow around this cute little fox. And that is it. So here they are all put and staged on my tear tray. I normally have this on my buffet next to my dining room table. I put the sign down at the bottom with the fox and one of the pumpkins and the wood leaf and then I draped the garland along the bottom as well. And then at the top I had the little box with the pumpkin inside. I put a sponge down in there and so that the pumpkin would stick out the top and then another pumpkin along the side of the box and that little palette pumpkin on the right side. I could still add a little bit more stuff into this fall tray, but this is my start for the fall anyway. So hopefully if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and subscribe. Check out the links down below for chalk color paints and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye, God bless.